Hey guys. All right. So, um, this is my presentation on how to write a research paper and I'm going to probably break this into parts. So this is part one. Um, okay. How do you write a research paper? <clears throat> Use online databases and citations correctly and with confidence. This is the Miss Matters guarantee. This is a good presentation. Mm. So what is Galileo? This is part one of the presentation. Galileo is the Georgia online library. And basically it's just like a library um, online. And so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, but what is it? What is it? Galileo stands for the Georgia library learning online. So sorry, Georgia library learning online. So you can see, oops, you can see how they got those crazy letters to kind of make Galileo. Good for them. And it's, um, we don't need that second sentence really, but it's just what it sounds like, but you do need this password to get in. Um, so this is something I used a whole lot in college and I wish I had knew, known about it in high school. So let's click this and see what happens. No, 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 no. Okay. So I'm going to type in the password and the password does change, but right now this is the password justice. Sure. Why not? Why not Google? Okay. So once you're in Galileo, I want to show you guys how and what it does. So let's say you guys are writing a research paper on Sherlock, right? Sherlock Holmes. Boom. I'm going to search Galileo for everything it has on Sherlock. And what's cool is it's the library, so you can actually read books, Sherlock stories, but you can also, and this is where I want to show you guys a few things, uh, you can change the publication dates around, pretty cool, and it'll narrow down your search. So we went from 120,000 to only 1,500. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, so you can also look for magazines, reviews, books, biographies, so this is where you guys are going to get into the next topic, uh, which is how to pick good store sources. So I want to look at definitely academic articles, reviews, um, maybe biographies, not that that would apply necessarily to a fictional character. Um, primary source documents could help, I guess. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to update my search and it works very much like uh, online catalog. Um, so now my sources are coming down and look, Sherlock Holmes in medicine. That's such a cool specific article. Um, so I could write a whole paper like this person did. Way to go, Douglas Guthrie, <laughs> on the medicine in Sherlock Holmes. Uh, studies in the literature of Sherlock Holmes. The manly art of observation and deduction. Hmm. Okay, so then I also want to show you guys advanced search options. And I used the advanced search probably more than I used just the regular run of the mill basic search. So, um, this is really cool because then I can like look and see if there's any, okay, I want to, that's not how you spell psychology. Why would it, what am I doing? Okay. So maybe I want to research the psychology of Sherlock Holmes. And I still want just those academic articles, right? So boom, I've got against the prejudice in favor of the real. Mm. Okay. So, oh, cool. The case of Sherlock Holmes and linguistic analysis. This is great. This is just a place where you can look for things that you are interested in personally. Um, and you can take whoever you're interested in and, uh, let's try somebody real. Let's try, um, sorry, I've got to go to a book here. Where is my, where are my books? Oh no. Yeah. Forgot her name. Let's try Grace Humiston. Humiston? Humiston. So, <clears throat> I can get rid of psychology so then I can hopefully get more information on grace. Boom. The female Sherlock Holmes. All right. So there's a news article about her. There's 
um, periodical where they talk about the author. So this is from this book, Miss Sherlock Holmes, Miss Sherlock Holmes. Um, okay, so Galileo. Lots of options. You can play around with it. You can't break it. And uh, it will help you find credible sources. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that in the next video. So thanks for staying tuned to um, my little talk on Galileo. Bye.